welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video we finally got our silhouette eventually get it crooked we wish we had something better to cut this shape again we're only using a laser engraver because we don't have a cricket so should we get into unboxing let's do it so before we get to unboxing why did we go with a silhouette cameo for prep well, my main reason for going with this silhouette for Cameo Pro is a larger space. So this has a 24 inch cutting area, so you can use full uh, 24 inch vinyl rolls uh, to make much bigger projects. I didn't want to be limited with a, a 12 inch work area or 18 inch work area like we could get with a Cricut. And this one just has a much bigger area. Also, I read some good reviews on it. I guess with the Cricut software, you're kind of a little bit more limited, whereas the software that comes with uh, the Silhouette, um, you can have a little bit more creative freedom, which is something that we like. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it works better for some people who don't want as much of that. Like, sure. We also went with this one because it can cut a lot more materials than other cutting machines we've seen. Yeah, we wanted to be able to cut thicker leather, potentially, some I mean, even thin wood it can cut. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that a silhouette can do, um, and we were kind of sold on it. So we went ahead and pulled the trigger and got it. Final. Final. All right, we have it all unboxed and all the tape taken off. Uh, so we got to see all of the things that our silhouette comes with. And it comes with a big 24 by 24 inch mat that we may use. We don't have to use because this is also capable of feeding um, a roller. Uh, so we don't have to use a mat if we don't want to. But it comes with our roller support. It comes with the mat support. Um, a little storage or a pen, a little pen adapter tool. Comes with an auto blade and power supply, along with some instructions. Some. Some. You do have to look at most of the instructions on the Silhouette mm -hmm. website. Which you'll get a little pamphlet that tells you exactly where to go. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll get this thing set up and then we'll get our computer and get the software downloaded. So let's go ahead and get this set up for a roll of finals.
just a disclaimer, we're using Safari in the screen recording, but on a Mac, you have to use Google Chrome in, in order to make this process work to download the software. Okay, so we're gonna put our roll in. I'm gonna line it up with the inside edge here for a roll and the outside edge for a mat. But since we're using our roll, we'll just stick it right there. She's ready to go and we'll send it. cutter that we can feed it in. Hmm. Now it looked like it cut through on some of it, but on some it did not. So we're going to have to check do some adjustments here. That's still okay. Now if we want to cut this off, there is a integrated cutter in the back. Send this back here. Pretty neat. Do an integrated cutter there. There's our little stick. So we finished setting up our silhouette and we just did a little test project, but stay tuned for a future video where we actually make and design our own like sticker or t-shirt. Yeah, we just wanted to test it out with some of the free mm -hmm. designs that came with our account and signing up for the, uh, the silhouette registering. And we just used our basic roll of old vinyl that we had to just try out making a little sticker and mm -hmm. we were successful. So we have a few lessons learned after doing this whole process. So one of the lessons learned, um, we figured out after doing this whole process is that you have to use um, Google Chrome on a Mac. You can't use Safari, I'm not sure why, 
but you can't use Safari and you have to use Google Chrome. Yeah, the download will happen and then when you click to open it, it will say it was downloaded. Wrong. Yeah, downloaded wrong. But if you use Google Chrome, uh, or I'd imagine Firefox would be okay, uh, then you can download the package and install the software just fine. And it was really simple to connect. Uh, it, you know, plugged in, we had to obviously use a dongle to connect into our newer laptops um, because it's regular USB. Uh, but it picked it up and connected and we were able to do the firmware update it over uh, the USB connection. And then we were also verified that we can send designs to this via Bluetooth, which is honestly really cool. So we don't even have to be in the same room to send designs to this as long as we have the, our, our media loaded. We did cut through our vinyl backing uh, because I think we just didn't get the settings right. So we're gonna have to play around a little bit and get our settings dialed in for this machine. But so far I'm happy, we just cut out our little sticker there. But for us, it's better than turning on the laser and trying to cut through vinyl with a laser. Mm -hmm. So uh, this works for us. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.